Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS attribute selectors. In the previous video tutorials, to understand CSS attribute selectors, we have written this sample code. In the body section, we have created two divs, div1, div2. In the div1, we have written h2, p, an anchor element. In the div2, we have written h2, p, an anchor element. This is the output of that code. You can see here heading one text aligned to the center, paragraph one text aligned to the right. Then we have a link, click to visit my YouTube channel. Heading two text aligned to center, paragraph two text aligned to right. And then we have a link, click to visit my Facebook page. In the previous video tutorials, we have learned various CSS attribute selector syntaxes and how we can use them in our HTML pages. In this video tutorial, I want to discuss some more CSS attribute selectors and their uses. So here you can see in the Word document, I have two more syntaxes to talk about. First syntax is we write a selector, then we write opening square bracket, attribute name, tilde character equal to value and then we write closing square bracket. In flower bracket, we write a declaration list. What this syntax does actually? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector which contains attribute name where the attribute value is a space separated list of values and contains a word specified as the value in the attribute expression. For example, a opening square bracket title tilde equal to my closing square bracket in flower bracket we have written border 2px solid red. What this code does actually? It selects any anchor element which contains an attribute title where the title attribute value contains a word my. Let's see the demonstration to understand this. I go to notepad. Here I add a title. Let's add a title attribute title. Here I say visit my YouTube channel. Similarly, I add one more title here for this title equal to visit my Facebook page close file save go to browser and refresh you can see when I move the mouse over a link you can see it is showing a tooltip visit my YouTube channel and when I move the mouse cursor over click to visit my Facebook page link you can see it is showing visit my Facebook page here in style tag I say anchor then I say title tilde character equal to in double quotation I say my double quotation bracket close in flower brackets, I say border colon 2px solid red semicolon file save. You can see that the title attribute value is a space separated list of values. Actually, this is one word. This is one word. This is one word. This, there are so many words are there here. You can see here. I am telling to the system that locate any anchor element. Here we have two anchor elements and then I am telling check for the title attribute. Of course, there is a title attribute. There is a title attribute and check for a value containing the word my. Here both of the anchors have the my word in their title attribute value. Now if I say file save and go to browser and say refresh, both of them have the red border now. That is how you can use the tilde character in attribute selectors friend what it does actually. Let's say here, I say page, let's say for page, I say here page page file save. This time only this anchors title attribute has the page word, right? The attribute value file save, go to browser and refresh. Only click to visit my Facebook page has the red border. That's the meaning of the tilde character friends where the title attribute value is a space separated list of values. Let's proceed further and understand the next syntax. Here we have another syntax selector opening square bracket attribute name pipeline character equal to value closing square bracket in flower bracket we write declaration list. What this syntax does it selects any HTML element targeted by the selector which contains an attribute name where the attribute value begins with the value specified in the attribute expression and immediately followed by the hyphen character. 
Here I have example A opening square bracket lang pipeline character equal to en closing square bracket in flower bracket we have written border to px solid red. What this code does? It selects any anchor element which contains an attribute called as lang which contains an attribute called as lang where the lang attribute value begins with the en word and immediately followed by the hyphen character. Let's see the example so that we can get more clear idea what this pipeline character does in attribute selector. Let's go to the notepad and this time instead of using the tilde character I use pipeline character and instead of the title I say here lang and then in double quotation I write en. Here to the anchor element I use the lang attribute I say here en dash us double quotation same lang attribute I use lang equal to en dash us double quotation file save I am telling to the system locate any anchor element which has the lang attribute both of them have the lang attribute and check whether the lang attribute value begin with the en word of course both the lang attribute values begin with the en and immediately followed by the hyphen here also immediately followed by the dash sign here also immediately followed by the dash sign hence both the anchor elements are going to have the border 2px solid red file save go to browser and refresh you can see both of them have the border set to 2px solid red that is the work of pipeline character so remember that equal to sign check for exact match that we have learnt in the previous video tutorials caret symbol indicates begins with dollar symbol indicate end with star symbol indicates contains then tilde character indicates contains a word within a space separated list of values whereas pipeline character indicates begins with a value specified as well as immediately followed by a hyphen character. I hope you guys have understood these syntaxes. I suggest you people to try using CSS attribute selectors in your websites. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.